this morning we have new flick picks for you that you can have uh, set up for your weekend. Yeah, that's right. Christopher Pollard of Milwaukee Film and the movie podcast Cinebuds joins us live with what's new in theaters. Good morning to you, Christopher. Thanks for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So first, let's talk about the third installment of Creed. I am so excited for this. Already getting <laughs> yeah. some, some great reviews from critics. Oh, no surprises here. Uh, the newest in the Creed series comes out this Friday. Uh, you have everything you would expect from it. Great drama, great boxing. But we're introduced to a new character starring Jonathan Majors, uh, who plays an old friend who turns into a boxing rival. Um, I mentioned him a couple of weeks ago when we talked about Ant-Man. He's everywhere right now, and he's one of my favorite. I was very excited about him. And then the film actually had its L.A. premiere uh, last Monday, this past Monday, and Michael B. Jordan was there uh, talking on the red carpet about making his directorial debut. I mean, the fact that people love it and they understand what I'm trying to do, you know, what I was trying to say, um, it took a lot of creative swings and the fact that they, they enjoy where the franchise is going just means the world. We put a lot of time and effort and energy into making these movies with my cast and my crew. So the fact that the reviews and the critics love it, you know, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good feeling. Mm. What did he say? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was just, I was just kidding. Staring at him. You know that's my cousin. Like, you know that's my cousin, right, Michael B. Jordan? Okay, anyway, I'm oh, so excited, Christopher, because it seems like that person, like the biggest fight that he has, we open up the trailer with kind of like a sugar skull. I think he's from Mexico, something like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm so interested to see that yeah, twist later on. Yeah, it's going to be a good movie. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, another film that we have to talk about, The Civil Dead, is coming to the Oriental Theater. Yeah, it absolutely is. It's going to be a lot of fun. Civil Dead has been described as the opposite of every ghost story you've ever heard. Uh, in this situation, the unfinished business usually with the ghost is with the living. Ghost comes back to help his old friend out. Um, the characters are less scary and more annoying, lazy, and absurd. <laughs> Uh, it's a great new indie comedy. It's sort of like a supernatural Napoleon Dynamite. Very cool. I can I totally Napoleon see that. Dynamite. Oh, yeah, right. I remember that. Kind of like grumpy old men, yeah. but they're, yeah. they're dead now <laughs> mm -hmm. or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And it's the so Oriental awesome. Theater is also going to be screening Emily. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I actually got a chance to see this one recently, and I really loved it. This is the story of Emily Bronte, who wrote Wuthering Heights, of course. It's beautifully shot. It's a mostly fictional account of Bronte's life, this supposed romance she may have had in her life that could have affected her and her writing. But but it's so it's not a typical biopic, but it does still have all those elements you expect from like a stunning timepiece type of a film. Um, any fans of the Jane incarnations or Wuthering Heights, they'll really love this film. Yeah, and you can catch it at the Oriental Theater. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I want to talk about Guy Ritchie's star-studded film, Operation Fortune. It's out this weekend. Yeah, it is. This is great. So it's uh, Guy Ritchie's new film uh, with Jason Statham, Aubrey Plaza, and Hugh Grant. So it's great, great cast. This is one of those fun, escapist paper films. You've got an old band of operatives get together to save them. Pretty straightforward. If you're in the mood for an enjoy the ride type of a film, with chasing, fighting, wisecracking, this is this is this is a good option for you. Yeah, I love Jason Satham yes. and Aubrey Plaza is quickly becoming say, one of my favorite yes. actresses. Yeah. She's so great. Yeah, She's and I think everywhere. it really hit me when she was in White Lotus. Mm -hmm. I think that's oh, yeah. when I became even more yeah. uh, a fan of her. She does such a great job, and even at her speech, mm -hmm. um, what was it? The, was it the SAG Awards? The SAG Awards. I think she made a pretty. Uh, she made some headlines. Right from for that. her for her dark humor. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of her shtick, you know. Yeah. And yeah. did I see Josh Hartnett in there? For that movie? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. Pretty star studded. Yeah. There we go. Operation <laughs> Fortune out this weekend. Christopher Pollard from Milwaukee Film, thanks for being with us and sharing your insight.